So this is a topic that I'm so passionate about, and I really, really um, working at the moment to support women more and more on the emotional level, mental level, physical level, yeah, whatever level it needs to be. So this is actually part of this. Let's from here go back to, I'll talk about women a bit more and why I made this specially for women, because our creation process works slightly different than a man uh, or achieving goals or creating a success. So this is the model I have, which I feel over and over works really well. So if you want to achieve anything, which I call it a heart aligned success. Uh, so if you want a success, which is aligned with your heart, comes from your heart, actually with any manifestation, there are basically three steps. You have a dream or vision or a goal, and then you take an action aligned with your goal. And then there is the action and there is the result where you either achieve your result goal and you celebrate, you get a fulfillment and you embed that experience. And then you start with another goal. This is everything, how it works in life. So there are really the three steps of creating anything. The goal, the action aligned with the goal, and then the conclusion. But we women make this so complicated that it doesn't work in this cycle always. Because, I mean, we can talk about each step where we make it more complicated. But tonight's objective is more about the last bit coming to completion, feeling, embodying that experience, regardless of it was successful or not successful. Yes, you might get a fulfillment from the result, but also being able to get that fulfillment from the experience, from the process, rather than just the result being good or bad. So when we don't fully understand and go fully with this last step and just jump onto the next goal and next goal and next goal what happens to me is a scene like this this is what I could feel so we just keep putting everything in there but unless we do some decluttering of which one do I need why did I buy this dress do I still need it because every item that was brought into this cupboard initially was with an intention. May it be, I liked it. May it be, I need it. May it be, oh, this will go really nice for this wedding. But the thing is, if you don't come to completion with your goals, they just end up being a clutter in your space, in your mind, in your heart, in your even physical body. So our system even starts getting cluttered meaning the flow in our nervous system, in our circulation system, everything starts getting cluttered. And how does it look like when it's cluttered, especially for women, us? So what happens is we start feeling in the love and intimacy and well-being, oh, I'm not lovable, oh, I don't matter, oh, maybe I'm not wanted here, oh, I'm not safe. Oh, I'm a burden, or maybe they don't like me. Or maybe on the leadership side, oh, I'm too much here, or oh, I'm powerless, I'm a failure, or oh, I'm different than anyone here, they wouldn't get me anyway. I don't belong here. And when it comes to prosperity, success, it's like, oh, I, I don't, and I can't, and I can't have it, I can't do it. And I'm not important, I'm inferior, I'm worthless, I'm unworthy, I'm wrong, I'm bad. So these are all the clutters that starts holding us back. But what we need is really come to a clear completion. And it may mean sometimes feeling it, crying over it, griefing for it, celebrating it letting go, forgiving. There are so many different ways of coming to completion. I'm not only saying, okay, let's celebrate we were successful, but there are so many ways of coming to completion. It's like, if you have a toxic relationship 
And if you keep staying in that relationship, then you start getting cluttered, which means then you start feeling, oh, I'm not lovable. I don't matter. So all these things starts almost like a downward spiral. They just keep creating more and more and more unless you do something about it and you come to completion with it. And sometimes a completion may mean once you let it go, it starts from a fresh start, maybe with the same person, maybe with the same job, maybe with the same business, but then it expands on another level. But first you need to let it go, come to completion and let it go. And then of course, when we come to a completion, metaphorically this is just an example but the the our mind our space it all becomes nice and neat which means we can see what resources we have what is my strengths what do i have and then also i have also space for the new ones but before I have a new space, I keep bringing in the new ones, new ones and new ones. Oh, this is nice. I want to do this. Bring it back. Bring it to my wardrobe. Oh, this is really lovely. I really need it. Bring it in. We just keep creating more and more frustration, uh, stuck, stuckness. Uh, yeah, all kinds of feelings, especially women feel, generate a lot of feelings around this. Or... We just get so upset. We don't want to put any more goals anymore. I am not going to put any more goals. And we come like a dead fish. I'm surrendering. I'm just going to uh, flow, follow the flow, be in the present. But another teacher said to me the other day, only dead fish flow in the river. <laughs> so that was really funny, a waking up moment for me. Yes. Fighting against the water and upstream is something else, but being a dead fish in the flow is the other extreme. So it's really about engaging and creating that space to be alive, to be creative, to enjoy, to bring that life force energy, to bring that spark in your eyes, basically. This is what we owe to ourselves. But unless we do that, we just keep getting more and more cluttered, meaning, oh, I put this goal next year, I didn't achieve it, I'll put it this year again. But by the time I'm putting it, I already lost my power, my belief, my strength. Even if I put it as a goal in my whatever vision board or whatever, I create even more suffering to myself. So it's really so important to understand what does it mean decluttering and coming to completion with my goals